Hello and welcome back to my channel. For my last video of the night, we're going to talk about the fact that Trump outed his national security advisor, the third one in almost three years, John Bolton. And um, we're kind of going to talk about two things here because there's one thing that I think is kind of funny that I'll mention in a minute. But let's talk about the fact that he unceremoniously fired yet another person <laughs> via tweet. Wow. Wow. Our administration is now dictated through a crazy man's Twitter. That is the world we live in today. Let that one sink in. Firing by tweet is how we run our government. It's disturbing. It's disturbing and weird at best, but I'm not unhappy that we fired the warmongering John Bolton. I mean, this is a person who thought going into Iraq was a good idea. He was all for going into war with Iran. I mean, he's just, he's a bad, bad person and you will not see anyone with a conscience who is going to be like sad over this. I'm not, I'm, I'm just not sad over it. I definitely am not unhappy that we got rid of one of the biggest warmongers that was whispering into Trump's ear. I'm glad, so glad because he was all for going to a war with both Iran and um, North Korea. We don't need another war. We definitely, definitely don't need a war with Iran or North Korea at this point. They would not end well for us. So I'm not sorry to see him go. I'm really happy. I am irritated with how he went about firing him. He fired him through a tweet. And then John Bolton was like, yeah, that's not how he, he's saying it's a lie. And it's just it's so unprofessional. And it looks so bad on our country the way this is being handled. I'm in awe every day of the dumb stuff that Donald Trump does, but that's the top of the cake. Um, firing your third national security advisor via Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, that's just the world we live in, and let's not normalize it. Let's continue to call it out for what it is as dumb and stupid and unprofessional because the rest of the world is looking at it as dumb and stupid and unprofessional, and if we normalize it, it becomes the norm. And we can't allow it to become the norm. We cannot allow anything this president does to become the norm. Call it out when you see it, which is exactly what I'm doing. Now, the other part of it that I thought was hilarious is we all know I don't like Tucker Carlson. He's racist, he's misogynistic, and he's just a vile, gross human being. But he once again tried to write revisionist history and say that uh, pro or uh, progressives or liberals are excited about his, or not excited, they're upset at his, um, at his outing. I don't, I don't know any progressives that are excited about his outing. You're looking at someone who people keep, I'm not completely progressive, but I'm leaning more towards the progressive side. Definitely not happy the way he was fired, but was definitely happy that he was fired. I will not lose a night's sleep on the fact that he was fired. Um, Go look at any liberal-leaning uh, news channel. They're not happy he was, or they're not happy how he was fired, but they are happy that he was fired. They're not unhappy. I'm not unhappy. Um, everyone I know that is more progressive thinks this is fantastic news. <laughs> so um, as much as Tucker Carlson can want to rewrite history and act like he wasn't, or he was getting rid of a bad hire and that he was progressive, no, sorry, sweetie. He wasn't progressive. We didn't want him. He is very, very conservative. He was a Fox News contributor for Pete's sake. Um, yeah, we're happy to see him gone. Not happy about the way he was fired. He is a complete and total warmonger. He is a crap human being on the long list of crap human beings that Donald Trump has hired. Um, he was unceremoniously fired in an unprofessional way that I am not thrilled with, but I am thrilled to see him go because I am not in the mood to get into another war. I don't know about you, but I think I've had enough of wars for my lifetime. I've seen enough of unnecessary death and pain to last a lifetime. Definitely not trying to make it worse. So yeah, bye John Bolton. President, please, you know, go and gain some professionalism and stop being a 12 year old boy on Twitter. That would be fantastic. But as you're probably not going to ever stop doing that, please people, November will be coming up in just a year. Please remember to register to vote. If you aren't registered to vote, please, 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 please register to vote. And for those of you that are registered to vote, please vote, please go out because we know that the sick fans that are obsessed with Trump are going to vote and it needs to be counterbalanced by us. The only way we're gonna get him out of office 
is by coming out in massive amount of numbers and voting him out. He only has a 30, what is it, 39, 38% approval rating in this country. So if we all come out and vote, we can keep our president from firing people on Twitter. All right, I will see you tomorrow.